Welcome back for another video. Today we will be using Microsoft Designer. So you want to go to your web browser and you want to type in Microsoft Designer. And here it is. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it. All right. I'm already logged in. But if you're if you never use Microsoft Designer, what you would do is log in with your Microsoft account. All right. And once you log in, you will get to this screen. I will also leave the URL in the comments. So that way you guys can click on it and you can go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on images. All right. And we will be generating images. And if you are on the free version of Microsoft Designer, which Microsoft Bing, Microsoft Designer, and also Microsoft uh, Copilot, it's all um, a Microsoft account. So you get 15 boosts on each generator. All right. Um, I do have, that's the free version. I do have a paid version. So I get 100 boosts a day on each generator and it's twenty dollars a month if anybody is interested all right so today we will be creating black history images and I'm, i'll be copying the prompts and we'll do maybe about three or four maybe like four or five we'll do four or five generations and then um maybe tomorrow or in a later video i'll come back and do some valentine's day prompts for you guys all right guys so let's go ahead and get started and as i said i will put this information in the comments and you guys can copy and paste from the comments all right so if you never use microsoft designer i'm going to show you how to put your prompts in here. Now, if you ever generated AI art, you may have a problem with the head being cut off or the legs being cut off or something is being cut off. You do want to use Microsoft Designer because you can um, choose like your orientation and I will show you guys that in a second. So let's, let's get started. You want to click on description. And you want to paste your prompt here so i paste my prompt here and you can also enhance your prompts as well so i'm gonna click size all right and for for this particular image i will be selling it as clip art so i don't want to do the square the 10 by 24 i want to do the portrait the 10 24 by 1792 all right and then they also have the wide if you want to do landscape if you want to create an image for like tumblers or something like that then you can do the orientation landscape which is why but today we will be doing portrait because i want the full body image all right so then i'm gonna go ahead and click generate and let's see what it gives us and some, a lot of times you do get four generations. Sometimes it may give you one. Sometimes it give you two. One, sometimes it give you three. But majority of the time you will get four generations. And as you guys see right here, sometimes you may get like some bloopers in here, like this one and this one. And then um, I believe you can delete these. Let's see okay probably I, I can't remember but i believe you can delete those but right now these two are nice so if i want to you know sell these as clip arts i have like the full image and with this one i can go to like canva and do a magic grab for one of them and remove the background upscale it and there it is all right guys so i'm gonna put this in the comments so you guys can copy and paste. All right, so let's go to our next image. And like I said, I will do five of them for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. They do have like a reset right here, but for whatever reason, it doesn't work. So just, you know, um, copy over the previous prompt and just delete it. 
All right, so here's our next prompt. And the size, the orientation is gonna default to the last one, which we have it on portrait and we're gonna generate. And these are like chibi characters. So chibi is popular right now and you can use it like on any design. And like I said, I'm gonna um, sell this as clip art. So I'll sell it just with the chibis alone and then I'll probably also add some words to it. So this is cute as well. These are cute. And then, like I said, the ones where it did too, you could do a magic grab on Canva. And then you can go ahead and just uh, pick one of them. And they have like different poses as well. Some of them, as you can see. All right. So let's go to the next one. Let's see what else they got up in here. And I did generate two before I got on here. I will show you guys that as well. And let's generate. Let's see what we get. all right and these are cute you can click on them you can download them all right these are cute and as you guys see like i said if you have problems like myself and others with your head and everything getting cut off the side of the picture or whatever just come to microsoft designer and you can generate your images for free all right, so let's find another one. And I'm gonna paste the new prompt and we gonna generate. And let's see what we get. All right, and these are cute as well. I really like this one. This one is real cute. So you got four generations. All right, and let me find another one. Let's see. And these are cute for Black history. Like I said, you can use it on just about anything. Just be creative and make your designs, you know, put some text with it. Put it on the T-shirt. You can put it on the Tumblr. You can do just about anything. Oh, and these are real cute. Let's click on it. These are real cute. You can put it on a coffee mug. You can put it on just about anything. This is real cute. That's cute as well. Okay, let me see what else I got in here. And let's generate. All right, and that is cute as well. All right, and we could do one more. Let's do one more. And then I will show you guys the previous prompts that I generated.
All right. And let's see what we get. And if you guys are interested in getting daily prompts, then I will also show you how to join my free Facebook group. I do give daily prompts. We also do challenges, you know, just to see, um, you know, um, the different art that people create. So I will show you that link as well. This is cute. And I will also leave it in the comments for anyone who want to join. This is cute, but I don't know what they did down there. Okay. And these are some that I generated before I got on here. So these are cute as well. I will give you guys the prompts of these as well if you want them. And like I said, if you're interested in getting daily prompts, and this is real cute, and interacting with other people who generate art as well, I'm going to show you the link to join my free Facebook group. And let's head over there now. And I do have several groups, but this is my AI group. All right. This is the cover page. And I do give prompts daily. Here's like some of the people that made images based on the prompts that I gave them. All right. And we do challenges as well with the prompts that I give. And I also um, do video tutorials as well. And I do get freebies. I do get free prompt, guys. So, guys, if this is something that you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you're new to AI art, make sure you check out my playlist called Mastering AI Art. All right. Check out the playlist. Subscribe to my channel and make sure you join my Facebook group. Answer all the membership questions to be approved, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.